Today I'm going to show you how super easy it is to add Google Universal Analytics using the new version 2 of Google Tag Manager. So I am in the Tags area and I'm going to go ahead and click New Tag. We're going to choose the product, so today we're going to deploy Universal Analytics. Uh, we're going to choose to deploy the new Universal Analytics. Go ahead and hit continue. And then there's one configuration setting we're going to hear, set here, and it's the tracking ID. I've already gone ahead and set up a variable called UA property ID for our tracking ID. Um, if you're deploying analytics or really any other vendor that has a, uh, a mapping ID to your reporting environment, it's a good idea to create that as a variable. It's going to save you a, a ton of time uh, and headache down the road. So go ahead and select our variable that has our, our ID in it. I'm going to select to enable advertising features that's going to give me my demographic and interest reports. Uh, and then click continue. And then really the last thing we need to do here is determine when we want that tag to fire. I want that to fire on all of the pages of my site. So I will select all pages and then I'll go ahead and click create tag going to ask for the name, we'll stick with Universal Analytics and we'll click save. Simple as that, I'm going to go ahead and publish my changes. Go ahead and publish them now. And uh, we are good to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull up the site here. Uh, let's go ahead and also enable HTTP Fox. We can look at the request going out. Go ahead and start that up. Uh, we will reload the page, and if we've done everything right in Google Tag Manager, we will have Google Universal Analytics deployed and collecting data, and, and there we go. So it's simple as that, um, super easy, get it done.